Hi, welcome Leo. This video is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, or if you're a cross watcher interested in a Leo, you're absolutely welcome here too. Or for anyone who really feels drawn to this, I feel like there's no accident of you being here at this time and place, so there's a message in it for you somewhere. It's a collective message, so not every energy will match every person. Only take what makes sense for you and see this reading as a bridge to your own intuition the most important thing are what are the messages that come up from within yourself your higher self so just go into it with the intention of hearing it from a place of love and just bringing in the light and i know that i am so grateful you're here i just want to say that it's such an honor to be able to do these readings for you i really enjoy it it means the world to me that you're here and you're supporting the channel so thank you I'm Wendy Irene, founder of GiveLoveCreateHappiness.com. I'd love for you to join me there if you feel called to. It is my creative space in the world with more things than the readings, um, recipes, family life, other things as well. Okay, let's get started, Leo, on this reading. So I pulled a lot of cards for you today. The first two cards are the Three of Pentacles and the Judgment card here. So I feel like... Uh, you're making some kind of decision or there's a big decision. It could be that the universe here is stepping in and really helped you with some kind of big decision. I think this is going to like ground you and be a little bit celebratory, um, a really positive thing here. Um, I just feel this energy of like cooperation and it's like a really, you know, a decision that's really good for you. You have the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So lots of Earth energy here today. Um, you could be dealing with an Earth sign. Doesn't mean that you have to be because all energies are here, but um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, but this is mainly a big brand new beginning that's gonna be long-term. That's gonna bring you stability and happiness here with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is like the queen of the home. Um, it's an energy, so keep in mind that it doesn't have to be masculine and feminine here, it's just energy, but it's that energy of like making the home beautiful and just it's very nurturing and stable and long term here. You have the Justice card, one of my favorite cards in the deck, and the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like you're really, things are getting balanced out for you. Maybe in the past things weren't balanced, but the universe is bringing things into balance for you here. And the Knight of Pentacles for me is like you really being solid on your own here. It's kind of um, almost I feel like this wish come true for your stability in a way is what I'm really feeling today intuitively. So I read the cards intuitively as well, not just our traditional meetings. It's what it what it is that um, is coming through me or I'm feeling, but I'm just feeling like you're balancing yourself out in this really positive way. Um, your life out and and your stability is uh, is really important here. Your home is really important here and it's this brand new beginning. It could be a brand new beginning that's actually good for you financially too here. Okay, so the cards that came down the middle are whom do you need to forgive? So there is forgiveness needed for you to be happy. Um, you need to release old anger. You need to release resentments or any of that kind of energy. And when you do, you will find that your wishes come true. So there is this, and it could even be like, um, it could be another person. It could be yourself. It could be both. But there's really this need to let go of those lower energies, that anger, that resentment, those kinds of things, because they are holding you back from your wishes coming true. So all you need to do is release them. I know it's easier said than done, but it is absolutely possible and within your control. And there's a lot of good things with your love life here because it's saying that, um, I love this, it's really cute. The basis of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. So like love is changing for the better for you here, Leo. And I really like that. And romantic feelings has come up and that means like really explore those feelings, express those feelings. They're worth, they're worth really like, um, so, and this could have to do with forgiveness, let down walls or fears that you have around love and really let it in. 
really let yourself feel those feelings and know that your love life is, is ascending to a better place here. And whatever it is, if this has to do with love, this Queen of Pentacles is long term. This Ace of Pentacles, brand new, stable beginning that's really good for you. So I pulled some cards asking for your person or your situation. So you're going to have to, you know, take it as it resonates. If it's about the person in your life or if it's about a situation you're going through, okay? Because um, each one of you will be different. But it's the first starts out with the Four of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Six of Wands. Someone here has really like emotionally withdrawn their feelings. It's like they really needed to go back within themselves. There was some kind of conflict that they have been working through. Um, the five is about change. The five of swords is about change. I feel like there's divine protection. So like someone really had to withdraw their feelings because there's some kind of conflict or stress that they've been going through um, that is... That is, that is kind of like how they're working through it. Also, the Six of Wands is a sign of like, like they come out victoriously here. Like victory is at hand here. For me, like here, the Ten of Wands and the Sun card. So the Ten of Wands is like this really heavy burden. It's this change or this working through this conflict or mental stress. They're releasing whatever is really burning them, and then waking up to this beautiful sun, this bliss, this happiness, this wonderful energy. It's considered the happiest card in the deck. So, but and 10 is about it closing down, coming to an end. So the great news here is like, there may have been some huge burden or stress, but it's coming to a close and the sun is coming out. Um, and there is victory at hand here. And it could be like also that this for, like letting go of any anger, resentment, negative feelings that are really low vibe. It could be like that is also for this person or situation. The higher font, I love this card. And also just keep in mind that Isis and Osiris are both on the deck here, out on the deck. Um, so even though in tarot, these aren't like a divine couple for me, I'm seeing divine couple because they are um, the divine feminine and masculine marriage energy here. But major transformation with this person or situation, major transformation, taking it to a higher level. Um, the higher fonts, like the spiritual guru here, um, it also can be like a, a even deeper level of commitment going on. But the death card is definitely something changing for major transformation. And then boom, a brand new path and beginning opens up with the fool card. This is having faith in the universe. Like, you know, he's not even watching where he's going. He's just going on faith here with this brand new beginning. And the high priestess, beautiful, beautiful, high vibration energy, um, divine feminine energy here. This high priestess is so in touch with intuition. Um, really, I feel like the high priestess is is so knowledgeable because she uses her intuition. She's in touch with the universe. Um, so that really goes with this spiritual guru card here. You know, there could be, it's like you're sending or this, or this person or the situation is ascending and there's major transformation and a brand new beginning here. It's just a matter of like getting past this stress or this conflict this burdensome energy so that this beautiful sun can come out. And that is what's happening. There is going to be some kind of major transformation that happens. So this sun can be in the forefront here. Um, and then brand new beginning and really acting more in alignment and intuitively, uh, which is the best way to go. <laughs> okay, Leo, I hope you got some messages here that were helpful for you. Thank you for supporting this channel, helping it grow. If you're not already subscribed, please feel free to do so if you feel like this resonates with you. And thank you so much to those of you who already are. I am sending you my love and light, and I hope you have a beautiful week. I will see you again soon, Leo. Bye.